So after a stinking hot January, we finally had a bit of a cool change this weekend. So I thought I'd sit on my veranda and film a tag. And a fun tag at that. Hi, I'm Leah. And welcome to Hide and Seek. And welcome to the hide of Hide and Seek. My husband, John. Now, Marnie is my surname, but nobody can say it, let alone spell it. And so I've chosen to use hide here on BookTube. So hello, John. Hello, everyone. And so I thought we would do the BookTube partners tag. And John's job today is to answer the questions, yes, but he's going to use his best newsreader voice and ask the questions as well. So over to you, John. So how long have we been together? How long have we been together, John? We're about to celebrate our 18th wedding anniversary, which is something we're excited about. So maybe one and a half, two years after that, so basically 20 years. Yes, and on that note, I've actually got a gift for John for our 18th wedding anniversary. Do I get to open it now? Of course you get to open it now. This is BookTube. So yes, we've been together for 18 years. And so we were married in 2000. So John never has an excuse for forgetting how long we've been together. And I picked up a book for him for our wedding anniversary. So tell us a bit about the book, John. It's The Grey Cricketer, Tea and No Sympathy. It's a very, uh, very funny book. I've read the first book, Dates of the Great Cricketer, and I've also had a look at this one as well. It's it's quite a humorous, humorous read. So if you're, even if you're not into uh, cricket itself, it's a great it's a great story, and it's it's very well put together, very well read, and um, I, I recommend this recommend this highly. Go out and buy it. <laughs> no so John, who reads more out of you and I? That would definitely be you, Leah. Definitely be you. I try my best. I think I read more newspapers and magazines. I think I single-handedly keep the print industry alive, particularly around these areas. But you're the you're the book reader. I think we read say what is it, seventeen books between us a month? Correct. Most months. Seventeen yeah. books between us a month. So it's, it's and my pretty... average is sixteen books a month. So take from that what you will. <laughs> um, John, do we ever argue or disagree about books? Oh, we have good discussions about books. Like I don't read enough of them to to disagree with what you're reading, but we do have conversations about uh, certain books, certain style of books. But I wouldn't say. Um, great arguments or disagreements. No, I'm forever book pushing things onto you and you go, yeah, no, nah, didn't like that one. Or yeah, that was okay. So I picked up the team, no sympathy. So he will enjoy that one, I am sure. Okay, this is, there's no point asking this particular question. What's the next question, John? Uh, who, who buys the most books? That would be, that'd be you, Leah, even books that uh, I read, particularly in this one that, that, that you buy. Yeah. Definitely guilty as charged. Yeah. I buy the most books, but I read the most books, so I think that's all fair in love yeah. and libraries. Have to be. Okay. Who has the best taste in books, John? <laughs> like, you, you, you can't ask no, that question. No, you, you can't ask that question. The taste I, I know what I like and, and what you like. Sometimes they, they cross over. We, we can't say that, oh, this, this is you. Don't know what to do. I know what you're doing. I, I'm very much in the literary fiction, the classics, the social justice type books. John's very much in the humour, more essays, more uh, social discussion Fiction-y. type books. Yeah. Definitely reads a lot more non-fiction than I do. So that right? very different taste. Not necessarily good taste or bad tastes, but if you want a highbrow literature, come to me. If you want fun and sporting analogies in particular, go to John. Do we share our books? Yeah, we do actually. We do. Not not many of them, but we do share. There might be a read where Leah will say, I think you'll enjoy this and I'll 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 take a, a word for it and a recommendation. And you know, nine times nine and a half times out of ten, it's it's pretty much spot on. The the best example of that was a book club read for my in real life book club here in Tamworth and I John actually read it first and then at the book discussion, the actual book group meeting, we were going to be down a couple of members and I said, come along, John. So it was John and eight women. <laughs> and it was great. It was The Scandal or Bear Town as it's yeah. published in the States by Good Frederick book. Backman. Mm. And it was great to actually have a male sporting perspective behind that discussion. So that was actually a really good, fun mm. sharing of a book. Do we read together or apart? Well, we often read together, but... Uh, you know, in the same room, the same bedroom, uh, the same car. I'm driving, obviously. Yeah, I'm the worst passenger in the car. John's driving and chatting away, and I'm going, shh, don't talk, reading. So, yeah, we often drive uh, yeah. long distances, and uh, a lot of it is taken by Leah reading the book, and 
I'm driving the car. <laughs> Try to talk to me and I mean that. <laughs> Sorry. Um, what do we have? How many books on average do you read a month? Well, I think we answered yeah. that earlier. So we read between us 17 books a month. <laughs> Just take from that as you will. Uh, Are you competitive in your reading? I think part of it. Competitive, right? I've read enough to be competitive. It's That's like asking about... any runner, are you competitive yeah. to Usain Bolt, really? <laughs> not that I'm comparing myself to Usain Bolt, but yeah, I just read a lot more. So it's not that we're being competitive, I just read more. Yeah. So. <laughs> and have you read a book the other recommended and not enjoyed it? Well, there, there has. I'm not thinking of specific examples, but there's been a few where Leah said, Look, you, you read into this, and I've got into the the first chapter, the second, and it wasn't really going anywhere. I didn't even feel it wasn't even going to be a slow burner. It was just not going somewhere, and you even skimmed it the head, and it still was was just not quite grabbing me. And so it yeah. doesn't happen all the time, but there no, is. Well, I try to expand yeah. John's reading taste, and the same thing he tries to give me <laughs> things to read. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But that's okay. Yeah, mine might become. Look, I just read this yeah, really good good article about this in the in the paper magazine. What do you think? And Leah's gone, uh, I'm not really. Yeah, I'm bored with that. <laughs> yeah, as much as you are. <laughs> anyway, all good. Well, there goes the BookTube Partners tag. And welcome to John Hyde of nice The Hyde, and I guess I'm the Seek. I would like to thank Dave from Wild Reads for a really good fun tag here. Mm. And I think we have had fun. And maybe I can, can convince John to join us for a chat at another time in the future. But thank you for watching and have a fabulous day.